okay? Uh, we're 93 degrees. I'm not getting out there, and you know, if it's 93 on land, it's about 97, 98 on that water because that mirror, that water acts like a mirror, so it reflects that sun. So <coughs> you guys got to be careful when you're going out there fishing. Cam's not going out there. So meanwhile, while we have this downtime right now, this is what I want to cover. The first thing I want to cover: people have been asking me about my knot what type of knot that I use and everybody knows that I strictly fish for crappie okay if I know that I'm going to be catching 13 14 15 16 17 inch crappie I use my cams improved clinch knot okay but if I know that I'm going to be catching 10 and a half 11s and 12s and 13s I just use a, reg a regular clinch knot now the reason why I use this knot over the years it's 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 it has been proven to me uh, it, it does not slip it doesn't break it doesn't fray and it's a good clean knot on top of that it's very easy to tie and also it gets you back in the water because remember if that jig or that hook or that minnow is not in the water you're not catching fish okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the first illustration I'm gonna show you guys how I tie the knot and then I'm gonna use a larger illustration that you can see it very very clearly okay and I'll be explaining it as I go because I'm gonna sit you down I'm gonna show you some of the, the some of the things that have been hot in our cam store that we've been selling all over the country and plus I want to say what's up to Texas and Louisiana North Carolina Florida Kansas um, Kentucky uh, st. Louis uh, all the cities California we've been getting a lot of love from everybody we've been shipping to uh, the state of Washington um, Alabama um, Tennessee we uh, just everywhere thank you guys so much New York uh, New Jersey Nevada uh, we've been, just been shipping everywhere. So Canada, our brothers up north, we've been shipping there too. And thank you guys so much uh, for showing us a lot of love. But this is what I want to do. I'm going to put you down. I'm going to show you what's hot in the store. I'm going to show you some of our new jig heads, our larger jig heads we've been selling for people catching walleye. A lot of people going to Canada uh, that love and enjoy catching walleye. So we had to go up to a quarter ounce and also a half ounce. And also, we're, I've been selling three quarter ounces, okay, with number one hook. So I want to show, go over that get, for you guys. So get you a cup of coffee, sit back, relax. We're going to go through a little tutorial so I can show you guys some things that will help you land more fish in the boat, okay? Hold on. That line through the, through the, through the um, eye of the hook, okay? And all you do is just, you just twist it. You twist your hook between seven and eight to, to ten times, okay? You twist it like this. I'm going to give you guys a short version of it. And you take your tag in. You take your tag in and you run it through your main loop. Okay? That's all you do. You take this. You hold it. <clears throat> and remember, you have to wet it. Okay? So you wet the line and you just pull your main line and just singe it down. Okay? That's all you do. That's a clinch knot. And you just cut the tag in right here you just cut it okay that's a simple clinch knot okay this year this 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 knot has been proven for me it's easy it's fast and allows me to get this hook back in the water to catch more crappie okay now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut it real quick okay improve clinch knot okay we do the exact same thing that we did before we run it through the main eye okay and we just turn between seven and ten times okay you take that tag in, you run it through the loop the same way you did the last one, okay? You run it right through that loop, all right? And then you get the tag in, you pull it, okay? And then you, you can see where you start singeing it down, and then that loop at the top, you run it through there again. Let me see if I can show it to you so you guys can see it. Okay, this is when you're catching the big crappie, okay? So you run it through the first loop, and then you run it back through the top loop and you grab it, okay, and you just pull your main line and it singes down just like this. Okay, let me see if I can show it to you. You're supposed to wet it, okay? Remember, always singe it down. That's the improved clinch knot. Okay, can you guys see that? And you just trim the tag in just like that. Now I'm going to use a larger illustration of it so you guys can see exactly what I'm speaking of. Okay, we're going to have to use our imagine, imagination just a little bit, but I'm going to use a larger sort of an anchor, and we're going to pretend like the loop is the hook. Okay, I'm going to show it to you. Okay, so pretend that this is the, the eye of the hook here. You just feed it through, okay, 
and you twist it. Okay, you go around seven between six, eight, and ten times. Okay, let me pull it down a little bit so you guys can see it. I want to make sure that I get enough so you guys can see it really, really good. Okay, okay, you run your line. This is your fishing line here, and you run it through like this. You twist it as if that was the hook there. And remember, seven to eight, ten times, okay? Run it there, take your tag in, and you run it through your bottom loop, just like that, okay? You singe it down, you pull it, just like this, and you singe it down, okay? That's how that works, all right? That's a simple clinch knot. That's all you do, all right? Now, if we're running an improved, CAM's improved clinch knot, Okay, now you guys got to remember, I've been running this hook for this, this knot for about 12 years. Okay, you go through that same process that you do running through your hook. You, you twist your hook seven to ten times. Okay, we're going to act like we're doing that just for the sake of, of this conversation. Okay, you run your tag in through this loop right here. Okay, you pull on it. And then you take this tag in and you run it back through your top loop, just like that. Okay, you wet it and you singe it down just like this. And that's an improved clinch knot. If you're going to be catching big crappie, this is a fast, easy knot. And you can watch this over and over again just so you, so you, so you can catch how to do it. It's very simple, okay? And I'm going to run through it real quick so you guys can see it one more time, all right? So you take your tag in, run it through your loop. This is the eye of your hook here. Okay, I'm gonna lay it down so you guys can see it. I'm gonna lay it down. You twist your hook seven to 10 times. We're gonna pretend as if we're doing it, okay? You take that tag in, run it back through the loop here. You wet it, okay? And then you singe it down. Just pull your main line. That's all you have to do. And that right there is a clinch knot. Very simple, very effective, doesn't slip. And also when I cut my tag in, okay, I leave a little bit on the end that we've been selling to people who are catching walleye that want to get that jig head down there really, really fast. Okay. So this is what, what we've been selling a lot of. You'll find this in the store. Okay. If you're on a uh, mobile device, you go to the burger to your left okay and just click on it you'll see tackle and services and you go to and you click the plus button and go down to jig heads and you have I think we have three or four pages but you'll see our walleye uh, big jig heads we also sell them in quarter ounce and we think we're getting ready to put on the three quarter ounce so if you're fishing you know 40 50 feet and if you're fishing in a river current these are the ones that you're going to you're going to need okay um, this is the a half ounce here let me show it to you up close with that nasty bin hook on it okay that's a number one that's that red nasty bin hook this right here is a quarter ounce round head with that number one nasty bin hook I want to show that to you and this right here is a one eighth ounce some people don't like collars on their jigs okay because it tears open the plastic some people don't like that so this is a one eighth round with just a number one nasty bin hook on it just it has no collar just a ball only Okay, and one of my personal favorites, which is the 1 8 minnow head with that black nickel, nasty bin hook. This is one of my favorites here. And also one of my other favorites, which is the gold hook, okay, in the nasty bin. These are some of, some of my favorites. That was the 1 8. This is the 1 16. We sell more of these than we do any other size hook between the 1 8 and the 1 16 and the 1 32nd. You can see it with the number one hook right there. Um, let me go over a couple of our plastics that are new, and I'm going to show you what's, what's hot. Okay, this is one of our new minnow uh, shad that we have. You see it has the flailing tail, the shredded tail. This is the perch, okay? And this is a very, very one of our new ones. Matter of fact, I just put this on the website about a week ago, okay? We have it in a baby bass. We also have it in a, this is the perch. We have it in a bluegill, and we also have it in a bleeding shad. Okay, and everything that you see, guys, is, is at camscrappyhole.com, and we offer free shipping, no minimal. Okay, I want to make sure you guys can see that real good. It has those, those glitter, that, those bits of glitter in it as well. Okay, 
One of the hottest jigs that I've been selling over the last couple of months is that uh, Stinger Shad, that blue ice. You can see the, the flash flakes in there and that tail with that perpetual movement. That tail never sits still. You can see that bad boy right now. This right here is one of the hottest jigs that are out right now called Blue Ice. Okay, Again, you can find that at Cam's Crappy Hole. Right now, I'm using a lot of the Stinger Shad. Okay, There's that black blue with a chartreuse tail. You can see that tail just won't sit still and it makes it look like that bad boy is alive. Okay, You can see that. Um, one of the hottest jigs that we had at the turn of the spring, which was the Craw Hot, the red, black, and chartreuse, with the twist tail, some people, some of you guys call it a curly tail grub, okay? And when crappy or aggressive, that's when you want to use this. And also, I want to tell you guys, you'll catch other fish as well. You'll catch uh, walleye with these, you'll catch bass with these, you'll catch quite a few yellow perch with this. Uh, so it's very, very popular. And right now, I'm using that also in a stinger shad, that same color, which is the red, black, and chartreuse, in that stinger shad color, okay? It has the glitter in the tail. These are some of the things that are really, really hot that are blowing out of the store right now, guys. Um, we also have the curly tail jig in the uh, acid rain. You can see that, which is the white with the chartreuse tail. Okay. And one thing I want to show you guys, I've had some people to ask me, well, Cam, how do you, how do you string your, 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 your uh, grubs up? I'm going to show you both of them. This is the curly tail. And I'm going to show you on the, on the, um, with using the 1A. Okay, I'm going to turn it to the side so you guys can see it. I generally, where the C comes at the tail is how I turn towards me. That's where I want my hook to come out at. Okay, so I slide it down just like this. I'm going to turn it to the side so you guys can see it. I try to stay away from the tail. I don't want to get too close to the tail. I bring it out. That's why you have that collar on it with that hook that allows it to stay up. Some people like the collar. Some people don't. You push that grub over that tail, and that's how it looks, just like this. You guys see that? Okay, let me turn it to the side so you guys can see that. That's how I push that on the twist tail jig. Now, I'm going to show you also how I do the stinger shad. Okay, this is a 1 16th number one hook. Okay, you can see this is supposed to resemble a minnow. Okay, so you want it to float like this. So I, you want the hook to come out the back side, which is right here. So you do it from... The front side, let me show it to you. You see right here, I'm going to show it to you. You put the point of that hook right in there, okay? And you bring that bad boy out the back side, just like this. Let me turn to the side so you guys can see the image. And you push that on up the collar, just like that. That's how you want it to sit. So it floats in the water, and it looks like this when it's floating. Okay, so the crappy come up like this, and they bite it. You'll be able to feel that thump. Okay, that's how I run my stinger shad. I want you guys to see that because I've had a lot of questions on people asking me how do I do, how do I rig my stinger shad. With that clinch knot or that improved, the cams improved clinch knot, that's how I yank these crappy out of there. Okay. <clears throat> also, I don't know if you guys would notice um, because I sell a lot of paintless heads, but we also offer the painted heads. Okay. This is a 116 with a number two nasty bin hook. This is the pink. Let me show it to you so you guys can see it. Okay. And I also offer it in, let me put that right back there, in the red hook as well. This is a black. Make sure you guys can see that. That's the black. Okay, so you guys can focus in on that. We have different colors. We have several different colors of uh, painted jig heads. So if, if you like using painted jig heads and that's your thing, then we have that. We have just about everything in there. And, and these right here, real quick, these are our cam action hooks. We've been selling a lot of these cam action hooks. Okay, and to let you guys know, I'm getting ready for the fall. Okay, September, July, August, September, the crappy are in their um, summertime pattern. So it has vastly become to me, I'm waiting for October. That's when the big females start to get ready to carry their eggs. They can see their eggs in, in October, and they're going to carry them from October, November, December, to January, to February, and that's when they start with the pre-spawn to release them, okay? Matter of fact, let me make sure the light is correct here. So I, I have that taken care of there, guys. Make sure the light's correct, all right? <clears throat> now, 
Um, to go over some other colors that we have in the cam action hook, I also, this is the gold. These are one-out hooks, which are ones that I sell more of than any. If you like the blood red, I have it in the blood red. If you like the gold, matter of fact, let me put both of them in my hand. Okay, you can see that cam action in that hook. You see that bend? And what happens is, let me show it to you. When crappy bite, that hook torques towards pressure. That's why you have that cam action in there. You see that? So when they bite, it turns like this. That's the whole advantage of having cam action hooks. You can see from that cam how it's crooked in there. That's why I have those. And these are my hooks. All this stuff is made. I custom make all of these items, guys. Okay? I want you guys to know that. And here's the black. You can see the black we have. We have the hot pink. We got a lot of different colors on there. So if colors are your thing with jig heads, we have that as well. Uh, I showed you the acid rain. I showed you the shad. One, one of our other hottest sellers has been the, um, the candy corn. You can see it in a twist tail. Okay, this has been one of our popular sellers as well. Okay, when you drag this through the water, that tail action, crappy cannot stand that. Again, I use these when the uh, crappy are aggressive. I go with the, the curly tail, twist tail grubs that you guys, you guys may call them. Okay, this right here is the candy corn, and I also have it in, in the uh, orange crush, which is this one right here orange white with that chartreuse tail you can see the glitter in the tail and that tail propellers through the water and crappy cannot stand that so we've sold a lot of these and I'll have the videos underneath in the description so you'll be able to see those okay go on to our website read all of our reviews these are average people just like you and me that go on and they purchase any one of our items our custom made items and they come back and they leave comments you know good bad or indifference that sometimes if you like me that helps me decide whether I'm on the fence or whether I want to buy a product or not. Okay, so go on to camscrappyhole.com, take a look, just browse around. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free to go in there and take a look, okay? So I believe in helping everybody out, trying to help them land more fish. And listen, all my subscribers, all my viewers, I want to thank all you guys so much. Our numbers are going through the roof. And if there's anything else I can do for you guys, you know, always reach me. If you have a question for me, you can reach out to me, direct message, and I'm always available. Eight days a week, 25 hours a day, I do this business, okay? So listen, thanks a, guy, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you on the next turn, all right?